Well, hello, Virgo. Thank you so much for taking time out to tune in. This is your general energy reading for January 1st through the 6th, 2019. Virgo general energy means it will not resonate spot on for everyone every time. So please keep that in mind. All right, my dear sweet Virgos, thank you so much for your subscriptions. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click subscribe. If you'd like to know when a new video has been uploaded, click that notification bell. And be sure to show me some love with some thumbs up on this video. All right, Virgos. In the highest vibration of love and light, please give me positive insight for Virgo. What is the energy surrounding Virgo for January 1st to the 16th? And what do they need to know about that energy? Thought. Uh, we are using the vintage wisdom oracle if you're interested thought well what virgos deep thinkers wow you know it just it this it feels like you it just does it feels like you are perhaps reflecting back on what this year of what 2018 held for you and you're thinking about how you want 2019 to grow for you. You are looking for that next step. You feel yourself taking it and it feels like you are detail planning it out of what you want everything to be like. So save yourself some stress, Virgos. Just get yourself a journal. I am seeing a journal. I'm being shown a journal. I'm seeing writing down your plan you know, for January, February, March, April, May, June, all the way through December, having yourself a plan. It's, it's like setting deadlines and goals for yourself. Now I know Virgo, you guys are perfectionists, so you can't hold yourself to these deadlines. A hundred percent. You have to allot fate and luck and all the other universal energies around you. You have to allot time slots for them to come in and perhaps take you on a, a different journey for whatever lesson you need to learn. So I would recommend using a pencil. All right. And you guys, I did not do year forecasts. I just felt year forecast for um, a general energy isn't really fair. Um, an astrology year forecast, that's great, but I'm not an astrologist. I think that those are a really great go-to. So I spoke to my guides and I said, well, I don't want to do tarot year forecast. What should I do? And they recommended that I pull archangel cards. So who's the archangel for you to your go-to angel for 2019? A link for that video will be at the end. Virgo, Virgo. Two cards coming out so we're going to stick with that all right Virgo yeah <laughs> so there you are 
threes and twos, and I'm instantly hearing three, you know, threes and twos are about who you're going to take your next step forward with, what group is going to be surrounding you, who you, who is going to be your power team here. I'm hearing that with the three and with the two, and it doesn't matter what suit they are. This is what I'm hearing is that it's you're just planning out who where is my power team going to be who has been ugh, don't forget a who's been there in the past okay you don't want to leave anybody behind you don't want to carry anybody but you don't want to leave anybody behind but it, it just it feels like you are vibing your tribe right now and saying okay this is this is how I'm moving forward this is going to be my support system and I am going to be their support system remember it's give and take Virgo you can't just um, allow somebody else to support 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 and you not put that support and that work in as well you are moving past this deep emotional kind of 2018 brought you that that energy it brought you so you dealt with some serious heartache you who dealt with some serious re I'm seeing some slaps in the face actually like I'm seeing somebody's face getting slapped you know it almost feels like you got a slap in the face but your new direction is awaiting you this willpower to move forward is there with you this this just really needing to launch yourself needing to get that that jump I'm seeing somebody leap and not fall so that's a wonderful thing I'm seeing you leap and not fall you have your lessons of 2018 and you are compiling them up and you are moving forward Virgo this is very important you must make sure that you are taking off any sort of rose-colored glasses and really seeing the lessons and really the heart it's like you, you the hard stuff you don't want to filter it you need to digest it you need to work through it you need to just move forward here I love seeing the nine of one excuse me ones over your thought here your thought is in confidence your thought is in harmony with the ten of cups and then we have the knight of swords down here you are determined to take on the world right now and this you know January 1st through 16th energy is just really feels like about determination it's about taking your new responsibilities that you already feel coming for the year very very seriously maybe you need like multiple notebooks or sections in your notebooks for you know God, like I'm just seeing this so now I'm seeing a notebook with sections with colored coordinated tabs <laughs> like full-on organization I mean Virgo you're just like I am not going back I am moving forward and I feel the fulfillment all around me because I am filling my cup up and you know Virgos I know a ton of Virgos and every single Virgo I know is always telling me oh my god you're so optimistic enough with your positive and you know it's mostly like in jest but there's that little bit of truth behind that where they have a hard time seeing past the present and current problem but Virgo it feels like you are now it feels like you're going into January saying I am looking past the present current all right I'm living in the present but I'm looking past it I don't feel like you're dwelling in the past at all and that's amazing I love 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 seeing it that for you so possible outcome based on your choices all right and remember Virgo 
When I do readings, this could be happening to you. You could be implementing them. I'm reading this as if this is, you're doing this, okay? You're doing this. The pain is gone. The pain is there. You need to finish acknowledging it. See what you learn from it. You may have to address it a few times over the next few months. I do feel that. But it is about you moving forward. That's all you can think about here. Remember to live in the present, addressing things as they come up. Um, but just keep moving forward. I love, 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 love that. Wow. Okay, so we have a night, a page, and a night. Yeah, so many changes around you just at the beginning of the year here. But, I, you know, for you guys, and like I said, I don't really want to read a whole year, but I feel like the changes are going to be ongoing for you guys. I feel like I have to say that because I'm hearing this for the year. Okay, so continue to listen to your intuition. Continue to let the signs that you're receiving from your guides lead you down the path. Okay, and I'm hearing the path of least resistance. So don't resist those gut feelings. Don't say, no, I can do it better this way. I'm guilty of that myself, and that's what they're showing me, is me being guilty of ignoring my gut feeling. So don't ignore your gut feeling here. With both of these being pentacles, it does feel like there's some sort of financial gain for you. Obviously, it's not going to be for everybody, but uh, fingers crossed, and hell yeah, if you hit the lottery, don't forget about old psychic Gen B. I mean, it just, it feels like this complete fulfillment, this new sort of stability, this new grounding, all right? And even if it isn't financial, if it is a new grounding source in your family, in your friends, in your work, whatever it is, that's a good thing, having that new strong, strong foundation. And it feels like that's where you're headed, is that strong foundation here, okay? So possible financial growth. Definitely, we see you strategizing for success. We see you putting in that efforts here, um, nurturing your own abilities. All right. So if your abilities lie in the psychic realm, if your abilities lie in the financial realm, if your abilities lie in the decorating world, then nurture those abilities wherever you're just kind of God gifted talents or goddess gifted talents. That's where you, your world needs to head. Vibe what makes you stronger and dive in. It just, it feels good. Oh my God, Virgo. I'm like so freaking excited for you right now. Like you have no idea. Yay. 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 Can't see me, but I'm doing a little dance for Virgo amazing all right so let's get out our whispers of love see if we can, what kind of additional information we can get now you guys know by now if you watch my channel that i don't like to specifically do um just romance okay relationships aren't just about the bow chicka wow wow relationships are um between you and your spouse and or boyfriend, girlfriend, you and your children, you and your parents, you and your siblings, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your coworkers, and yourself. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. Hmm. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may per pertain let me get my glasses on. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. See, love is everything. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So, like I said, I, I see you guys looking forward. All right. And this is awesome. So whatever relationship that has brought you to that disappointment that we spoke of in the beginning of the reading. There was some hard, hard hitting issues for you, some heartbreaks for you. Um, 
the loss of somebody or, you know, living or passed away. You, I mean, it's not uncommon to be angry at somebody for dying. But it is about forgiveness. So nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. And I feel like that's the energy around you guys fully right now. I mean, I feel like this card's just saying what all that said, you know, nine little words. <laughs> and I want that one. Like attracts like. Yes. I was really hoping you guys would give this card because I felt that when I was saying you're vibing your tribe, you are longing for more love in your life and need, excuse me, you need to be more loving. So if you want to vibe in, if you're single and you want to bring in the perfect mate, then you have to vibe that energy. That means being happy with yourself. And it doesn't matter if you're size two or size 22. If you're happy with yourself and you see your own self-worth, your own self-value, you will vibe in that person who's going to see it for you as well. Even if it isn't a romantic person, because I do feel you vibing a new tribe here, getting a new kind of presence in your life. Um, it's just seriously, you know, like, like attracts like. So if you're hard on yourself, you're just going to meet other people that are hard on you. And you don't ever want a boss like that. You want to have that kind of relationship with the, your boss. So you have to love yourself here. And that's something every sign can work on. All right. Not just Virgos. But I do feel all this newness around you and it feels like you feel it too. And you're carrying good. And it feels like you're going to carry it with you. These new opportunities, these really great chances to expand and have things grow and be better for you. So offering forgiveness, forgive yourself so other people can forgive you. And Virgo, we have talked about this before. I know that I don't normally remember readings because let's face it, I'm kind of channeling energy here. So it's kind of hard to put it in the memory banks, but whatever relationship foo pause you've had in 2018, you need to forgive yourself for those so that the people you are still in relationships with can forgive you. You change your energy. You change your vibe. Like attracts like. So if you've wronged your sibling, if you've wronged your, your partner, you have to forgive yourself for what you've done and allow that energy for them to forgive you for what you've done. And then get back to love. You know, say you did something to your sibling and it was terrible and you guys just started talking again, but you're still holding on to the anger with yourself. You need to forgive yourself so they can fully forgive you. And then your bond, your love can begin again for each other. You know, like I said, it's not going to be spot on for everybody, but please take the information and let it resonate with you for what is the most beneficial. But Virgo, I, I feel your energy of excitement about your new year. And that's amazing. And you're kicking off January with that vibe. And that's beautiful. You are, you know, that vibe of um, strong camaraderie. I'm hearing that. That vibe of working hard and being focused and lots of thoughtfulness into this. So get that journal, get that notebook, use your phone if you have to. But I just, I feel like you have all these great plans and you need to start getting them written down on paper, working on manifesting them all up. All right, guys. So popping up, it's probably already done it, but popping up is going to be that link to subscribe to the page. If you don't already subscribe as well as a link to the who use your archangel for 2019 video Virgos. Thank you so much for watching and happy new year.